Okay guys, TNSSG wanted another shot of my shop, so I figured I'd run another movie, because every so often I add a few tools, he likes to see them. For those who haven't seen the shop before, there's basically shelves of stuff down here in my basement. Some of it, uh, three of them are basically materials to work on the house and big tools and stuff like that to do various things. Um, not a lot of this gets used for my slingshot building, so it kind of stays on the shelf until it's needed. Um, we've got a few things over here that are, you know, old weights, stuff like that. Um, a hidden project here. And we come around here, we just kind of, I'll just kind of pan through here. My toolbox, you can see I've got two drill presses. I had one. And then I bought a whole mess of tools from somebody and he didn't want the drill press left around. So I brought it and I said, well, what the heck? Put it up and set it up. You can see, look at all the wonderful projects I got going right now. There's about nine slingshots under there all waiting to be sanded. My Dewalt uh, oscillating sander that just gets worn out. I got a finger sander and a couple of other little things over there, Dremels and whatnot. I use them every once in a great while and a handheld router if I feel like it. Come down here, you can see all kinds of stuff that goes with the drill presses, saws, a few extra bits and bobs. Down here we have gloves, finishing stuff. You'll see my massive tub of Play-Doh right there. I use Play-Doh to hold, to keep stuff from running around on the slingshots as far as liquids go. My scroll saw doesn't have a blade in it right now. Um, pulled it out. I got a couple of things waiting on the vise to be filed better. You can see the one and only slingshot I'm showing right now is this one. It's being made for somebody specific. They already kind of know what it's going to be, so it's not much of a surprise. You can see my finishing, my hand tools, some sanding. I'm still working on a project. This is one, a, another one for my mother. It's actually, I uh, sent it with, I think, think it was Nafran who sent this to me. Um, but it's olive wood, and what it is is I'll eventually mount it, and she wants something she can hang her rings on by the, bathroom sink while she washes her hands we turn around back here you'll see we follow all around you'll notice in the middle of the room I got this table holding my oven on top of it just for now I've got set my uh, vacuum chamber I'm gonna be in the process of stabilizing that wood sometime this week and I don't know about the rest of you, but I usually just use a, a pan on the bottom, my HDPE pan, because cactus juice doesn't activate till you heat it. So at the end, you can just clean it out of the bottom of the pan if it's not non-stick. Just got to make sure you have a rubber seal down there. You can see that rubber seal. I just cut, I just cut uh, chunks of rubber off of. Uh, if you go to Home Depot, you can get sheets of rubber that they put behind tile in bathrooms. Uh, just go get yourself some of that. Just say the, the shower seal rubber. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. There's my valve going on. Here's my table saw. I don't use it nearly as much as I could. So it tends to be more of another surface to hold stuff temporarily. Um, then you've got my chop saw. My bearing press, which I use to press templates. Or make sure the templates stick on to... Stick on to the HDPE before I run it through the router. You'll notice it's on the ground. The thing's heavy. And when you press it, you pretty much got to have it on something very stable and very solid. I've nothing better than concrete ground. My lathe. My fan to keep me cool. My trash can, which is always full no matter how many times I empty it. My shop vac that I bought from $20 off some guy who didn't know what it was worth. My bandsaw, I've got a few uh, few other things hanging behind there that go on my batteries. I've got my blade runner, another chop saw underneath, um, my spindle sander, my hardcore grinder. This, is, this one runs at about 3800 RPM. 
So it's a little too fast for HDPE, but it does really good on the aluminum. So I've got a buffing wheel there. And then this runs at about 300 RPM. It's a knife sharpening stone that you can fill with water whenever you want to sharpen your knives. Another fan. Uh, this is a table mounted, I guess you could say, my original belt sander. You can see my router. You can see the eight projects I got waiting to run through it and finish off. You can see a couple of my new tri-wing router bits. More router bits. My dad's in the process of making me a shelf to put them on. You can see the two jigs. There's a huge belt down there, which goes on the floor stand belt sander. There's also a disc sander on the other side over there, which I I rarely use because I really have no use for it. I find that the hand-operated one uh, oscillating sander works better. My banding table. There's a few projects for you to look at. Then we've got my banding jig, which I use a ton. I wear that thing out. Here's my tape that I use to stick, stick all templates to HDPE. You can see I've got piles piles of leather back there and rubber. Um, rolls of Theraband gold. A lot of it gotten from trades. Over here we have materials, Osage Orange, cutoffs from HDPE, buckets for HDPE, more naturals, my clamps, some of my fancy parts on from my various machines that I rarely use, some more naturals, piles of HDPE, the trash can, my jerry-rigged plug system for some of my Things that move around the shop a lot. My uh, potential Shockley slingshot when I ever get to it. Felt ready for felt micarta. A couple more naturals. Uh, you can also see I've got some paper up there from paper micarta when I get to it. Bits and bobs from gun guy back there to use. You can see the Corian right there ready to use. Um, other bits and bobs of fancy wood. For the most part, that's here. You can see some of the rosewood speaker box left over from the one I made for Uber Freak. We come over here. I got a few things. This is a table I need to clean up and use a little better. I'm not using it too hot right now. It's got paint for the house behind it. I'm trying to get set up with a system like Matt, you sh you'll shoot your eye out, has for his. Um, his uh, shop back when he does HDPE grinding. And then these two buckets, this is a bucket full of slingshots that I let people, anybody use and thrash and trash. This one holds some of my fancier stuff like my scale, a uh, few of the pinballs and whatnot. And this holds my good stuff. And you can see I've got a few up top there. Some of you, some of these you've seen, some you haven't. I won't show them. You see my lead. And then here's here's the one from Uber Freak. There's some uh, arrows, shipping containers. And for those of you who haven't met her yet, this is Brunelga, Brunelda. And for those of you who don't know, that that's what it's like looking down here when you're ready to pull your slingshot. She's a monster. And someday she, I, I think she's going to set the world record. We'll see. I may have to put a few more bands on her. But my brother and I intend to beat up something fierce on George's world record here soon. More shop vacs. Dust everywhere. More materials. More materials. Items to use when we have a slingshot gathering. There's my catch box put away for right now. Two more grinders I still have to find a home for. And for those who don't know, you can see I've got a basement here. I'll move back. My house is long enough that if I go from one wall and I set my catch box down there on top of the rocking chair that's covered I get about 
12 meters comfortably. So that's where I normally shoot. I normally shoot at about 10 meters, which is from right about here. As you can tell, the weather's changing, so my dogs are still shedding. So every day I vacuum this up, and every night I come home to find just as much hair as the time I left in the morning. Okay, guys, that's it. Let me know if you want to see anything special or any more. Hopefully you were able to turn your head sideways for part of this.